It is a contemporary train of thought, as stated by Elon Musk, among others, that in order to not be rendered irrelevant in the age of AI technologies, we must integrate with machines. While that might sound akin to a dystopic future, Mind Palace is finding that middle ground. It invites human collaboration with machines through the lens of augmented reality glasses. Mind Palace integrates a web browser, cloud file storage system, and word processor into a visual format similar to Tony Stark here and this holographic representation. Mind Palace is a tool fashioned to amplify our inherent memory recall abilities. By immersing yourself with information in this way, one induces a more holistic decision-making process, a better informed state of creative thinking. The tangible nature of this augmented world also enables the user to customize the visual layout to suit their methods best. We live in an era where the structure of academia makes knowledge a transient phenomena in the mind of a student. We learn information for short-term goals, subsequently forgetting it in the long run. Mind Palace aims to dispel this trope by acting as a vault, a personal dictionary tailored to your own understanding of things. It is a virtual extension to your brain's storage space. By using bi-directional links that collate information based on key flagged words, users can then save and pin information of interest to specific rooms, i.e. topics. For example, take this note-taking software, Rome Research. After writing thoughts across multiple days, I can create a bi-directional link for the words script and screenwriting and be presented with a bi-directional page with all approved references to each topic. An example of what the experience entails and might look like in the augmented world can be seen in the example of an ordinary student. After launching the Mind Palace app on some AR wearables, the student can choose which virtual room to enter, whether this be their screenwriting room, politics room, or other random interests. After entering a room, the visual organization of information is subjective to the user's design. The way that this information is presented can be easily manipulated by using augmented touch. Various info points related to politics, for example, could be portrayed in a similar fashion to the Tony Stark image as seen earlier, or instead as a cabinet of files that once virtually clicked on expand to reveal more information. This is the crux of Mind Palace. It is simply an environment for the user to control and develop. The more they do so, the more it will help them to work on a conceptual and creative level.